So let me paint you a picture. You've created a red shape in Adobe Photoshop and gone to layer styles and added the stroke effect to it. But when you try to add a mask to your shape, the mask would only work on the layer itself and not the effect that you applied. Instead, the stroke just now automatically goes along the same line as the mask. So is there a way we can undo this in Adobe Photoshop so your layer masks also work on your layer style effects? Great, so welcome back to my design class. And of course, we're going to be answering that question. There is in fact a setting in layer styles, which we can change to ensure that the layer masks also work on the effects that we apply. If you're confused between the difference between layer styles and effects, layer effects are the individual effects that you apply to a layer. So for example, a drop shadow, a stroke, uh, maybe an outer glow or something like that. Whereas layer styles are when you have a combination of one or more of those effects. So to start off with, what we're going to do is create a shape using the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to quickly draw that out, maybe hold shift in order to keep it as a square. And then I'm going to quickly add a fill just so we have a solid color and then also quickly get rid of the stroke. I might also just use the move tool on the left hand side here just to roughly center our shape, something like that. So in order to actually apply a layer style, there's two different ways you can do it. You can either go to layer at the top here and then go to layer style and choose any of the options from here. Or you can actually go to the layers panel and just double click on the layer itself in order to bring up the layer style options. Then from here, what we're going to do in this example is actually apply a stroke. So I'm going to make sure that option is ticked and that I've also got the actual name selected so we can actually change some of those settings. So as you can see, I've already got quite a nice stroke on my rounded red square right here. So I'm going to quickly press OK. Now in order to apply a layer mask, what we normally do is use a selection and use that as the basis of what we're going to actually be masking away or keeping within our mask. So what I'm going to do is quickly go to the polygonal lasso tool on the left hand toolbar, which is this option here. The shortcut is L for both Windows and Mac. Might be the second option in your drop down. And then what I'll do is I'll quickly make a selection of the top, maybe at a slight angle so we can tell it is our selection, just so we can cut that part out of our shape. I'm actually going to inverse the selection just by holding Command, Shift and I, or Control, Shift and I for Windows. So as you can see, that's inverse the selection. And I can go to the bottom of the layers panel and press on this white icon with a black dot in the middle. And that basically will create a mask around our shape. Now, as expected, it's managed to mask our actual shape, but the layer style effect is not actually masked. So the stroke is actually coming across the area that we masked away, which isn't what we wanted because we also wanted to actually mask the stroke itself. So in order to do this, all we have to do is go to the effect itself, double click on the effects. And now we want to be on the option that is blending options right here, not on the stroke option. We want to make sure that we have blending options selected. And then it's very simple from here. All we have to do is actually select this option that says layer mask hides effects. And as you can see, the moment I select that, it's also cut away our layer effect with our layer mask. And then all we have to do is just press OK. So now anytime I actually make a change to our layer mask, for example, I could use the brush tool on the left hand toolbar here, make sure that black is selected and then just add to our mask by using our brush. As you can see, it's also going to affect the layer effect itself. Great. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're interested in learning how you can actually create a picture in text effect, which allows you to place an image within a text object, then do check out the video on the right of the end screen. And otherwise, do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and do subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new Photoshop tutorial.